13-6, Landrace Gilt, sneak peek, timing right. Yeah, the, the 13 litter again uh, out of the 12-9 sow. Uh, be a full sib to, to Cracker Jack. Uh, the board that stood, or stood at uh, Purple Power, uh, she would have raised uh, an incredible litter this fall, uh, done, done an incredible job uh, here at the farm. Uh, and this 13-6, uh, just another one to add, add to the list uh, in terms of the quality that she brings to the table. Uh, this one's a shot shorter bodied, uh, shot different looking, uh, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You guys can come to the farm and tell me that. Uh, but this thing just is his, her, their length of body is, is so impressive to me, uh, and to not be uh, characteristically, uh, Landrace long. Uh, and I, I like that part about her. Yeah, certainly the pounds light. So later end point, uh, everybody can see that here. Um, so if that's what you're hunting, but she'll, she's still going to be competitive, uh, in early stages of her life too. In those, uh, uh, you know, national shows, at least you'll show by weight, uh, based on age. Um, so she'll be in those lighter weight classes and be able to get along. Uh, very, very well. Again, buy gilts out of deep litters when you're looking for um, either return on investment sale opportunity or putting in the sow pen. Um, it uh, gives you that much more confidence that they'll be uh, have the ability to breed on 13-6.